Welcome, I am Joshi, and in this playthrough of Marvel Champions, we are beginning a new chapter of what some of you refer to as my Hulkverse. Uh, in this, we are going to have uh, Hulk interrupting a battle between Spider-Man and Rhino. We are actually going to fight Rhino in expert difficulty, because, you know, it's Rhino. Um, so we have Peter Parker and Bruce Banner down here. Uh, Bruce Banner, as usual, 18 hit points. We've seen Hulk plenty of times on this channel. We know how he works, surely. Uh, Peter Parker... He has a recovery of three, and while he's in Alter Ego, uh, Scientist Resource, he can generate a mental resource limit once per round. And when we flip up to Spider-Man, he has a Thwart of one, Attack of two, and Defense of three stat line. Uh, and he has a Spider Sense interrupt when the villain initiates an attack against you, draw one card. So we'll see that in action, I'm sure. Uh, so let's go through the setup for Rhino and Expert. He comes in at stage two. Um, but first of all we deal with the main scheme, so the break-in, Rhino is attacking a shield facility, so we advance to stage 1B. So the break-in, Rhino is trying to smash through the facility wall and steal a shipment of Vibranium. Uh, you must stop him. So this stage will thread out if we get 7 per player, so at 14. Comes in with 0 and goes up 1 threat per player at the start of Villain's turn each turn. Uh, we also need to check the Rhino Stage 2 card and says when revealed, search the encounter deck and discard pile for the break-in and taken side scheme and reveal it and shuffle the encounter deck. So let's find break-in and taken. Oh, right at the top. So there's break-in and taken. Rhino is breaking things and taking them. And that's going to come with two threat plus one threat per player and give us a hazard icon, which will deal us an extra encounter card if we don't get rid of it. So there's the fourth threat all up. There's my little reminder for the hazard card. And with that, we have Peter Parker in Aggression and Hulk in Justice. Uh, the decks will be linked below in the description as usual. So Peter Parker's hand size is six. So we'll drop, we'll go Webbed Up, Sunfire, Martial Prowess, Looking for Trouble, a Web Shooter, and a power of aggression. I think I'll hold on to the power of aggression, martial prowess, the web shooter. I'll hold on to Sunfire as well, and I'm going to discard these two as part of the mulligan, webbed up and looking for trouble, and draw two cards, see what we get. But chase them down, and a toe to toe. Okay. Bruce Banner gets his five cards, we have an energy. Avengers Mansion, Crushing Blow, Heli Carrier, and a Limitless Strength. Interesting. Um, all right, I'm going to hold on to the Limitless Strength, Energy. Oh, actually, I drew one too many cards. Let's shuffle that one back in. Uh, you know, I'll hold on to those four. I'm just going to throw away Crushing Blow and draw one more card for the Mulligan, see what we get. Beat Cop. Okay. Oh, and Peter Parker's first player. So, I'm going to use our Power Aggression for two resources to put in a Martial Prowess which we can play under any player's control, max one per player. We can exhaust martial prowess to generate a physical resource for an attack event. So that's ready there. We will spend one resource to put in a web shooter. Move those up there. So, the web shooter uses three web counters. One, two, three. Uh, we can exhaust the web shooter and remove one web counter from it and generate a wild resource. We will use a wild resource. Oh, sorry, we need to be in hero form, so we'll flip up to hero form. We'll use the wild resource and the toe to toe to put in Sunfire. 
After you place Sunfire in your hand, you can spend a energy resource and choose an attachment with a text box hero action or hero response and discard it, but there is none in play, so we don't need to worry about that. Uh, we will thwart for one with Sunfire to take this down to three. Spider-Man will thwart for another one to take break and take him down to two. And that'll be that. Okay. Over on Bruce's side, we're going to use our experimental research action to draw a card and discard a card. Okay. This is beautiful. We're going to throw a beat cop. We're going to flip up into Hulk. We're going to spend a limitless strength for three resources to put in Halley Carrier. I'm also going to move this up here. So Halley Carrier, we can exhaust Halley Carrier, choose a player, reduce the cost of the next card they play this face by one. And then we're going to spend four resources to put in Avengers Mansion. In Avengers Mansion, um, we can exhaust Avengers Mansion, choose a player, that player draws one card. Um, we're not going to worry too much about that right now because Hulk's just going to throw away that card anyway. And Hulk is going to attack Rhino for three. Taking him down to 27. And we're ready up. Uh, Spider-Man gets five cards. We have a toe-to-toe. -to -toe strength. Ingenuity. Into the fray and another web shooter. Hawk gets four cards. We have clear the area, under surveillance, power of justice, and unstoppable force. All right, so, villain's turn. We get two threat on the main scheme. It's one per player. Uh, Rhino initiates an attack against Spider-Man, which means we get to draw a card, which is a spider tracer. We will have Sunfire defend it. So he's coming for three plus two boost cards. So five damage knocks out Sunfire. And then he's going to attack Hulk. Hulk will just take it. So coming for three plus nothing. So three damage on Hulk, taking him down to 15. Then we get our encounter cards. One for Spider-Man, one for Hulk, and an extra one for Spider-Man because of our hazard icon. So we have Surge and reveal the top card of the encounter deck. So it's our Surge. Reveal the top card. We have Enhanced Ivory Horn, so this attaches to Rhino. We can spend three physical resources to discard it, and it's giving him plus one attack. We have Caught Off Guard. Discard an upgrade or support your control. If no cards were discarded this way, this card gains Surge. We will... Get rid of our web shooter, I think. Oops. And in addition, give to the Bruce Banner player. So flip your form. Then if you're Bruce Banner, discard two cards from your hand and discard this obligation. We will... Yeah, okay. We'll discard Unstoppable Force and Under Surveillance, and we'll hold on to Power Aggression and clear the area. And then Hulk's Encounter card, well it's now Bruce Banner. Give Rhino a tough status card. Um, if he already has tough, it gains Surge. It's not, so we'll just give him tough. Okay. Bruce is now first player. Okay, we're just going to flip up. We're going to use a clear the area. Remove two threat from a scheme. If this removes the last threat on that scheme, draw one card. To get rid of Breaker and Taken. To get rid of our encounter here. Draw a card. Suborbital Leap. Don't care too much about that. Hulk's just going to swing for three to knock off the tough. 
Um, we're then going to call for an action over on Spider-Man's turn to exhaust the Avengers Mansion, choose a player, that player draws one card, which will be Spider-Man. We've got a backflip, save that for later. Actually, we'll do it now, I think. Uh, we will exhaust the heli carrier, call for an action over here. To choose a player, reduce the cost of a next card they play is phase by one. So we're going to do a toe to toe, uh, which is actually where we, you know, we'll put in a web shooter with that. So reducing it to zero. Ready, and we have the tokens. Then we're just going to use Martial Prowess to pay for an attack event, which toe to toe is. Choose an enemy, the enemy attacks you, deal five damage to the enemy. So, Ryan is going to attack us, we get to draw a card, because of our spider sense. We're just going to take it, just coming in for three, four, just four all up. But we're just going to backflip, which is when you would take any amount of damage from attack, prevent all of that damage. And then we deal five damage to Rhino. Taking him down to 22. Yeah, so none of this is really helping us. So just gonna attack for two. Spider Man. We're gonna flip down. We're gonna spend Oh, actually before we do that, we actually will spend two strength. Plus a web shooter as a wild resource, which we can turn to a physical resource, because it's wild. To remove the enhanced ivory horn. Then we'll flip down. And then we'll, since we're a genius, we will spend, you know, we'll spend these two resources. To put an ingenuity. So player only, if your identity has a genius trait, max one per player. Uh, we can exhaust ingenuity to generate a mental resource. And we'll hold on to the energy. Ready up. Okay, Hulk gets four cards. We have a Beat Cop, Thunderclap, Hulk Smash, and Wiccan. We get five more cards for Peter. We've got Aunt May, uh, Avengers Mansion, Sentry, Swinging Web Kick. And Black Cat. Okay. Two more threat goes on the main scheme. Uh, Rhino is going to attack Hulk. He will take it. Three plus one boost card. So, sorry, one boost icon, I should say. So, four. Well, damage taken us down to 11. Rhino was, will scheme as uh, we're in Alter Ego over here for Peter Parker for one plus nothing. And then we get our encounter cards. So we have a Hydra Mercenary. He comes in with Guard. So while this minion is engaged with you, you cannot attack the villain. So it's just for Hulk. Spider-Man can still, Peter Parker can still do it. Then we get Bomb Scare. Run Reveal, place one additional threat per player here. So it's going to be four threat because it comes in with two plus one per player. Four on here. And it gives us an acceleration icon. Peter's our first player. Okay. We're going to spend one and we're going to generate our mental resource with our science ability and the energy to put in an Avengers Mansion.
which we can do because again it's max one per player and it's not unique like with these little star things means only one of those can be in play so we can exhaust avenge mansion choose a player that player draws one card we'll do that on ourselves get tigra don't care too much about that but flip up we would use a web shooter and sentry to put in black cat so we have a forced response here after black cat after you play black cat discard the top two cards of your deck and add each card with a printed mental resource discard this way to your hand so that focuses on energy next one is heli carriage physical so we don't get either of those Uh, we are then going to use martial prowess for for one resource and tigra and art may spend two more resources for three all up for a swinging web kick which is deal eight damage to an enemy so it goes on to rhino taking him down to 12. and then peter will Uh, we'll thwart one off here. Uh, Black Cat. We'll also, don't like doing it, but thwart one because if you attack with her, she doesn't take consequential damage, but need to manage that threat. So, because she thwarted, she takes one consequential. Okay. Hulk's just going to swing for three to hit the Hydra Mercenary and knock him out. We're going to use the Avenger Man to draw a card. Our Justice is nice. Um, so yeah, so we'll use a Power of Justice to play Wiccan. So it counts as two resources when playing for a justice card, yellow card, which we did know. Wiccan comes in. Uh, we will have Wiccan thwart for one on Bomb Scare. And the text here says, after Wiccan thwarts, discard the top card of the encounter deck for each boost icon discard this way, deal one damage to an enemy. So we'll do that. There's two boosts on there, down there. So we'll do two damage to Rhino. We'll then use a heli carrier and two resources to put in a beat cop. So as an action, we exhaust a beat cop and move one threat from a scheme to here, which we'll do. Getting rid of bomb scare. Another action we can do with beat cop is we can exhaust and discard the beat cop and deal one damage to a minion for each of the threat that's on top of the on the beat cop. Uh, with that, we're already up. Okay, Spider-Man gets five cards. We have Enhanced, Spider-Sense, Genius, Looking for Trouble, Backflip, and a Swinging Web Kick. Hulk gets four cards, Suborbital Leap, Hulk Smash, Downtime, and Espionage. All right, we get two threat on the main scheme. Remember, it threats out at 14. Uh, Rhino goes to attack Spider-Man, which means we spider sense draw a card. Getting Spider-Girl. Uh, we'll just take it, so he's coming for three, four. But we'll just play our backflip to prevent all the damage. It's going to attack Hulk. Hulk will take it, because, you know, we're Hulk. It's coming for three. Four, five, five damage. Taking us down to six. Then our encounter cards. One for Spidey, one for Hulk. Okay, gang up. The villain each minion engage you attacks you. So, run attacks again. 
a spider sense kicks in, because that's not a limit once per phase, it just always happens when the villain initiates an attack. Got it webbed up. Uh, we'll just take it, actually. So three, four damage, knocking us down to six. And then for Hulk, we have a charge. So we attach to Rhino, and then Rhino would attack. The attack gains overkill, um, and then at the end of the attack, we discard this. That's also given him a plus three, so his next attack is going to be quite big. That would have been good to have a backflip for if that happened, but anyway. So Hulk becomes first player. We will use our Beat Cop to move one threat from the main scheme to him. Yeah, I'd like to Hulk Smash, but I'm not feeling it right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend three resources for a suborbital leap. Um, so remove three threat from a scheme, five threat instead if we paid for that using our physical resources, which we did. So we get rid of five off there. Wiccan will thwart for one off there. And when he does... We discard the card and deal damage to an enemy two, two boost icons there, so we'll do two more damage to Rhino. Taking him down to eight. We're going to flip down with Bruce and we're going to recover four. Taking us up to ten. We're going to use an Avengers Mansion to let Spider-Man draw a card, which is another swinging web kick. And yeah, that'll be that over there. Okay. We're going to use Avengers Mansion to draw a card. Spider Tracer. We are going to... Use Ingenuity. Use Martial Prowess and a Spider Tracer to pay three resources for a Swinging Web Kick. Deal eight damage to an enemy. We'll deal it to Rhino. Taking him down to zero on the first stage. So we've got a stage three. So we're going to reveal Toughness. This character gains a Tough Status card. And stun each hero. I get stunned. Hulk is not in hero form, so he doesn't get stunned. And Rhino comes in with 16 health per player, so he's going to come in with 32 health. We are then going to use Black Cat to attack for one to knock the tough off. And she does not take consequential damage. There's no star under her attack, so that's nice. We're going to attack with Spider-Man to remove his stun. We're going to spend four resources to play webbed up, which hero form only attached to an enemy, max one per enemy. When the attached enemy would attack, we discard webbed up instead. Then stun that enemy. So that's going to stop two attacks from him at least. Uh, we're then going to use our last web shooter over here. And a swing web kick to put in Spider Girl. She can just go down there. Need more table space. Um, after you play Spider Girl from your hand, you can stun and confuse a minion, but there are no minions in play. Uh, she's just going to attack for two. Taking down to 30. She takes one consequential damage. And 
No, we'll stay up because we've got two stuns on him. We can alternate the flipping down. So that's the end of our turns. We'll ready up. Oh, that was out of heli carry. I could have done another smoke, but I'm alright with Spider Girl being out. Okay, uh, Bruce Banner gets five cards. We got a concussive blow, a crushing blow, Banner's laboratory, beat cop, and thunderclap. Spider Man gets five cards. We have power of aggression, spider sense, toe to toe, boot camp, and bug. Okay, so two threat on the main scheme. Uh, Rhino schemes on Bruce Banner for one plus one boost, so two. He would go to attack Spider Man's webbed up, so no attack initiates, so we discard this. And then he gets stunned. We get our encounter cards. Uh, so we're in Alter Ego, so this assault will gain surge. The villain schemes, so in advance, so schemes for one plus one to so another two. And over here on Spider Man, oh, we got an eviction notice. So we give to the Peter Parker player. Uh, we may flip Dalt Ego form and choose one. We exhaust Peter Parker, remove eviction notice from the game, or we can discard one card at random from our hand, and this gains surge. We'll flip to Peter and exhaust and remove this from the game. Okay. Peter is now up. We will we'll spend three cards to put in a boot camp. So boot camp uh, gives each ally you control plus one attack. That there to remind me. Uh, we'll use ingenuity at toe to toe to put in bug. So we're at our max ally limit now with three. So bug after your hero makes a basic attack, you can heal one damage from bug. Uh, so let's deal with this. We will attack with black cat for two now. Taking Rhino down to 28. We will attack with Spider Girl for three. She gets knocked out. Then we'll attack with Bug for two. Taking Rhino down to 23. And we're actually going to, I think, stay down as Peter Parker. Uh, we'll use our Bruce Banner ability over here. Actually, we'll use Avengers Mansion to draw a card. We'll use this Avengers Mansion to draw another card. We'll clear the area and boundless rage. We'll use Bruce's ability to draw a card and discard a card. Legends. Okay. We will, which one will we get rid of? We'll throw away Banner's Lab. We'll flip up to Hulk. We will use the Halley Carrier to put in Boundless Rage. Which uh, hero form only Hulk gets plus one attack, and after we change form, we discard that card. There's our plus one attack, so Hulk's now swinging for four. We will use 
spend three resources. I've got it. one of each there. One's a physical for a concussive blow, which is confuse an enemy. If you paid for this card using a physical resource, which we did, deal three damage to the enemy. So one, two, three. And Rhino is confused. Use our beat cop. Take one thread off here. Wiccan will thwart for one. Discard a card and deal damage to an enemy equal to boost which is two. Taking Rhino down to 18. We will use physical resource for a crushing blow, which is deal damage to an enemy equal to your attack, which is currently four. Taking Rhino down to 14. Oh, Wiccan should be gone. And then we'll just swing before taking right down to 10. We're ready up. Okay, Peter Parker gets six cards. There's two, just chase down Brawn. Because we've decked out, we get an extra encounter card. So three, four, five, six. So we've got genius webbed up, power of aggression, and another chase them down there. Uh, over here, Hulk gets four cards. We've got one, two, three, four. So Agent Colson, strength, clear the area, and cause of blow. Okay. So villain's turn, two threat in the main scheme, pushing that to six. Uh, over here, Rhino would scheme, but he's confused. And then over here, he would attack, but he's stunned. And then we get our encounter cards. One over here with Peter, one for Hulk. Keep it down, Rhino heals four damage. That's annoying, he's up to 14 again now. And... Touch the Rhino, he's got an extra charge. That is a massive hit that's coming in. And the villain attacks you. Alright, well, we're going to have to defend this. So defending for three, coming in for ten, plus two. Oh, so he's hitting this for twelve. We defend three, so we take nine damage. On one health left, and these charges are gone. Hulk, strongest one there is. Hulk becomes first player. We will spend three resources. Two strength, uh, one mental, to do a concussive blow. Uh, confuse an enemy. If you pay for this card using a physical resource, which we did, deal three damage to the enemy. Use our beat cop to move one threat from the main scheme. Use a heli carriage, which is the cost of clear the area, down to zero to play that, to remove two threat from the scheme. If it removed the last threat, we could have drawn a card, but it doesn't do that. We're going to flip down and we're going to exhaust the Vengeance Mansion here so Peter can draw a card, which is toe to toe. Peter's turn will also exhaust his Avengers Mansion, draw a card, which is Sunfire. Okay. We will attack for two with Black Cat. Taking Rhino down to nine. We will flip up with Peter. We 
we'll attack for two. So you can write down the seven. We will exhaust martial prowess for a toe to toe. Choose an enemy, the enemy attacks you, then deal five damage to the enemy. So we're going to choose Rhino. So he initiates attack against us. We get the draw a card, which is a web shooter. But we're going to defend with Bug. So he's coming for four plus nothing. So he knocks out Bug. We deal five damage to Rhino. Taking him down to two. We're then just going to spend three resources, bring in Brawn. Uh, after Brawn attacks, we move on through it from a sky side scene. But anyway, we're going to attack, which he's wide attack plus one for the boot camp for two. Which will knock out Rhino, remove one threat. He takes one consequential. And that will defeat Rhino from the Hulk and Spidey team up. Uh, so as you can see, we could even could have got in Sunfire to do two more damage. Uh, so Rhino is truly been well defeated. Um, I mean, Hulk once again strongest one there is, but Spider Man did okay, all things considered. Uh, yes, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this game. If you did, please give it a like, uh, comment down below, and yeah, if you want to see more of the Hulk first and more of these team ups, make sure you subscribe. Thanks very much for watching.